What would it mean to you and your business to make step change improvements in performance? Is it even possible? Let's walk through an example from the world of athletics that shows a method for delivering breakthrough improvements. Dick Fosbury, an Olympic high jumper, once described his younger self as the worst in his high school, his conference, and the entire state of Oregon. He became a gold medalist by challenging one of the limiting constraints embedded in his sport. Until 1963, various techniques were used to clear the high jump bar, all of which assumed the jumper's center of mass had to pass above the bar. While other jumpers labored to accrue more knowledge of existing techniques to eke out just fractions of an inch, Fosbury was developing a technique that would overturn this limiting assumption. By sharply arching one's back just to put a portion of the body above the bar at any moment, the Fosbury flop allows the jumper to pass completely over the bar while their center of mass passes below. After implementing his new method, Fosbury rapidly improved his personal best an incredible 13 inches that year. Three years later, he won the 1968 Olympic gold medal and demonstrated what would become the prevailing method of all competitors by the following games. This breakthrough knowledge about high jumping was discovered not by a subject matter expert, like a world-renowned coach nor by an industry leader, like the track and field program of a large country, but rather a high potential amateur testing an assumption within the conventional wisdom of the sport. Similarly, breakthroughs in industry come about by challenging the conventional assumptions thought to govern how an industry operates and performs. These limiting assumptions are rarely questioned, but when one of these are tested and overturned, the potential for a breakthrough improvement is created, just as Fosbury demonstrated in the high jump.